so yeah so i was still feeling very weak so maybe i think i have i need to take some iron iron deficiency i have some iron deficiency i think so what do you suggest if somebody needs some iron Uh, it depends why you feel weakness there may be you know many causes not only because of yeah but uh, you may take you know the ladies or means the girls young girls they should have you know some of the things like dry fruit you know anjeer fake mm -hmm. yeah fake that should be taken and it is it is going to increase your hemoglobin naturally yeah. instead of taking any iron tablets and all spinach you can have spinach to <coughs> increase the level of hemoglobin in your blood and that is very effective actually Just you yeah. uh, dip it into water for uh, for the night. In the morning, you just uh, chew it and drink. Uh, you may have milk with it or with water itself, no problem. So it is going to increase the level of hemoglobin. So that yeah. so that is natural iron. instead of taking tablet of course tablet can be taken but if uh, some other sources like natural sources are available then i think you should go for it if it is available there in us i don't know no yeah, everything is available like we can find fake us pe is available you know there are so many grocery store especially there uh, Two or three. I mean, no, they are very big stores. Like one is a Mithri Patel, and Patel. He is oh. from. He is from India. Hmm? Yeah, and Apna Bazaar. Hmm. There are so many. Okay. Next to, I like to go there. You may actually get some. You know, that Anjir from there. and I start eating it in the morning 2 3 mm -hmm. and that is going to give you the strength and uh, it is good for uh, you know digestion also so mm -hmm. the people who have constipation for them it is good yeah and it is going to increase definitely the hemoglobin mm -hmm. so it is good to take that is my suggestion or if you yeah. want to have any iron then it's okay you may have by the means you may consult with the doctor actually yes <coughs> so what is your today's plan are you gonna go somewhere I just stay home. Pardon? What did you ask? I'm asking about today's plan. Plan for what? Are you gonna go somewhere? Hmm. Today I am going somewhere, of course. Hmm. Actually, In your car? Actually, uh, one of my students actually. he i actually i taught him 20 years back in my class and by the way he is muslim actually he is a qureshi azad qureshi and i have very good relation with him and i am very much close to him he is now government teacher but he is a little bit away from my city so day for yesterday he phoned me 
actually he has been uh, in contact with me since then so day for mm-hmm. yesterday he phoned me that he was feeling some pain in in his chest <clears throat> so actually he is staying in a very small town so mm-hmm. means the you know specialized doctor are not there for heart and all so i asked him to come over here he came and i took him to the doctor and then doctor advised for some blood test x rays ecg and all and almost everything is normal actually but uh, so he took some means the doctor suggested him to have some medicine and he had already taken medicines for that and today <coughs> sorry he wants to go to market to buy some dry fruits and some other things so i have to go with him after 12 my uncle uh, he 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 loves dry food so you know he is fond of eating dry food lots of dry food instead of like uh, you know regular meal when he comes home he says okay there is no food in the fridge let's take a dry food and have a cup of milk mm-hmm. you know he was having this kind of routine dry food dry food dry food you know what happened then he got you know one day he ate too much and then he got heart attack mm-hmm. and you know because it's not good for your health i mean too much Check dry food is not too much of anything yeah he is always harmful and then you know he went through open heart surgery hmm. but actually and dry fruit what you are eating that is also important yeah it was means dry food so and what happened you know i mean how they perform the open heart surgery hmm. they you know they cut they cut your all ribs Yeah, and they yeah. open the ribs cage and then they perform surgery and that is very big surgery so after surgery he was okay or what what happened yeah he is okay and he is just uh, he was uh, in texas now he has come to virginia because he was by himself mm-hmm. and you know he is in recovery mm, actually you know too much of but you know the walnut you know walnut mm-hmm. is good uh, almonds they are good but mm-hmm. some other dry fruit they are not good for heart so every, yeah. every dry fruit is not good for you yes some of them are good so first of all you must have proper knowledge that what you are going to eat and how much you should eat too much of anything is always harmful even you know when we feel hungry we eat chapati here in india so whenever we feel hungry we have chapati vegetable curd and some other things but you know if you eat over continuously for many days then definitely uh, we may have some problem like acidity constipation or if we, it is me uh, if we have been in the practice of having uh, food over for a long time then we may have heart attack or we may have any kind of problem so it is always suggested to have everything in balance means you should take even uh, little less than your need if you think that you should eat two of the chapatis then uh, eat uh, one and a half only don't take three means your yeah. stomach should be little bit empty yeah that is best don't if it is a little bit empty then it, it will have some space to digest to work properly yes yeah. definitely don't means eat to the full of the capacity of the stomach 
so it is always me so actually the excess of anything is always harmful yeah i was asking you yesterday you said i like to visit and then i like to travel so then you said i don't like to visit but i like to travel what does that mean yeah <coughs> actually it means visiting means when you go to visit a place like means you want to go to suppose uh, a particular city or you want to visit your friend right so that is visiting but when you start your vehicle or you go by car or you go by train or you go by uh, aeroplane then it is means when you are going from one place to other that is traveling getting my point no sir traveling means actually when you travel in a car in a bus in a train or you travel by air i like traveling i said that i like visiting different places it's okay but before visiting you have to travel to reach there getting my point okay you go like uh, travel I mean, means when you go somewhere i mean example you have friend in pakistan and you 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 will say yeah i like to visit my friend in pakistan and then you uh, sometimes you will say okay yeah i travel to pakistan to visit my friend traveling and visiting both are different traveling means traveling i am traveling for no reason i don't have to visit anybody but i am traveling by my car getting my point hmm. i mean traveling just here and there just for fun going to work yeah yeah you can say so that's why i said that means that i like traveling no i can why do you you don't have anybody in world but you go you travel all over yeah but for visiting you visit your friends you visit some place yeah and come yeah no problem but traveling by a car is always you know very good for me because you mm. can stop your car anywhere and you can enjoy you can have photographs and you can means uh, visit different places but when you go by bus or by train you are confined to that bus or train only you cannot yeah. stop train wherever you want yes on the way you cannot stop but you can stop your car on highways yeah. and you can enjoy so that crashy are your friend is he okay na yeah he was my student but now he has become my friend you can say he is younger than i am but uh, he is so, he is 45 or 46 so you used to teach english yes of course okay yeah in my classroom actually earlier i had my classroom and i taught students from you know many places different places nearby my city from my city means i taught local students mm-hmm. but for the last 8 or 9 years i have been teaching through skype so i have been teaching students online only now i mm-hmm. don't take means traditional classes traditional classes means traditional classes means the students come to me and i 
to teach them in a class like this. Maybe today I am tired because you know after six days, five six days, you know you you have been working all week, mm -hmm. and then you get tired and you want some one day off, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, are you even taking off day off? You don't take day off. Me, you are talking are you? about me. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. I mean, actually, I don't need to take any off mm -hmm. because even if I don't teach, I work on computer. I do something or other. Means uh, I don't sit idly. Yeah. So I like to do something. Try to find out new topics for the discussion for the for making videos mm. so I am always in search of all these things and mm. if I am free if I think that there is nothing for me to do then I look for some um, rare old songs old Hindi songs on mm. internet and I just converted them into mp3 I store them on computer and I then I store them in my mobile then I listen to them again and again when whenever I am free. Free in what sense actually I listen to songs while I am taking bath, while I am taking exercise, while I am walking. So I don't need to have extra time to listen to songs. Today I saw the news of Mukti that he is doing some meditation to get success in this election? Not because of that actually. He told that he not for the success. Actually when he was quite young, when he was just, just 13 year old, he left his home and he went to Himalaya and he spent three years there and nobody knew about him. Even his family members didn't know where he went. Mm. Yes, for three years. And so he was there in Himalaya for meditation and all. So that is his, you know, interest or he likes it. So he was there in a cave. He went mm. there inside into that cave through a small hole. And then he was there for 20 hours, the whole night inside and then he came out and today now he was talking to the reporters, TV channels and all. <laughs> yeah, you can say for the success in the election. But actually, when the actually you know the reporters they ask that what what he means uh, ask for the God. Then he answered that he didn't ask. He didn't ask for anything. Hmm. I think there are ninety percent chances him to him to be PM, right? Yeah, you can say 90% because actually uh, possibilities are always there for anything to happen. So, but I am 100% sure that uh, he will be PM again. Because you know, the people love him. People, people, 80% of the people, 75% of the people love him very much in India. The remaining 25% I can't say. 75% of the young people actually uh, they are very much impressed by him. They are encouraged or uh, inspired you can say. They are inspired by him, by his working style and all. He just sleeps for 3 hours in 24 hours. 
<laughs> he is working, working, working all the time. And he is 69 year old. He is working. Does he have children? No, no. Oh, he has no children. Okay. He, is, he has no family. Abdul Kalam, he, 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 he didn't have children either. Yeah, he was unmarried. Okay. He devoted his life for the country. Yeah. He devoted his life for the country. Modi has been following or doing the same. <coughs> and one Mr. Atal Bihari Bajpayee. Huh. And he also devoted his life for the country. He was unmarried too. Lot of people, yeah, lot of people in India were unmarried and they did, <coughs> you know, extraordinary work for the country. Yeah, after married, after getting married, yeah, after married. Ah, after getting married, ah, yes. What do you after getting married, you know, they get very easy. They have, you know, children, wives, so many things going on. Yeah, so they are responsible for them first. Yeah. So that's why they are not that much devoted to the country as they are expected to. Hmm. That's the reason. So if they are single, they can, yeah, they can like concentrate, pay attention. Yes. Hmm. What time? What time is it now? Over there in India? It is 9.20 a.m. Oh, it's very early this morning. Yeah. So you wake up at what time? I wake up at 4, quarter to 5. Quarter to 5. And you sleep what time? Night at 12, 11, 30. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. is good to sleep. Yeah. It's uh, not to, uh, yeah, after midnight we are all supposed to sleep. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, yesterday I got some questions mm -hmm. for the <coughs> I'm just looking for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so So there are many questions I have got about health, religion and all. Okay, so Okay. So do you like any sport? Uh I mean I I think I learned uh, badminton, so I bought uh, two rackets and one, you know, that bird, Chenya, what is called, to play. Shuttle, shuttle, yeah. Yeah, shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in our childhood, we also call, called it like Chuya Valla. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we used to speak, Are wo Chuya Valla leke ya, khel na hai. Like, like this, <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, so I have those rackets, so I am be playing. Now the weather is very nice outside, so we can play this game on the weekend. So do you have a group uh, with whom you play? I have roommate, one roommate, so I will be playing with him. Okay. okay. Hmm. So means you just play, but you. 
don't play it like uh, means professionally like having net and everything with rules and regulations no i don't have that uh, like uh, net and everything so uh, do you also sporty sporty game you know Ah, I like sports very much in my childhood or even in my college. I played lot of sports and games. Like I was fond of playing cricket, hockey, football, badminton, table tennis, and uh, that was my favorite game, table tennis. Um. So you 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 know how to like uh, hit the ball. And don't let it fall. I, I was a, a quite expert player, you can see. Wow! In okay. badminton, sorry, in uh, table tennis, we even how to spin the ball or how to have big shots. So that was my favorite game, and we used to play the whole day on Sundays in college, from morning to evening. Table tennis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were that much means crazy for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't play like anything in particular. But uh, I just recently bought uh, those two rackets. They are still new because I just played once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I don't have this time. I I feel like I should be learning like swimming. How to swim? You know, my brother is always asking me to learn swimming. So it's, it's you know, if something happens, so I don't know how to swim. I cannot survive. I learned swimming when I was in class or uh, standard eight, eight. That time I was just twelve or thirteen year old. And few years back, two three years back, I went to swimming pool. Means we mm-hmm. have got in our city two or three uh, swimming pools are there. So during summer actually they are crowded very much, and we have to take admission there before time in advance. So because mm-hmm. because you know the children they are also free. So mm-hmm. there are different batches: batches for boys, batches for girls. And batches for families. So it is like mm-hmm. that. So the girls are allowed in uh, girls batch, and the boys are allowed in boys batch. And family they may go with their wife and children. No problem. So mm-hmm. there, are, there are different batches for that, and it is for three or four months only. Like uh, April, May, June, July, August, September. I think up to September. So, so yeah. yeah. So what I was uh, saying? Can you suggest me some swimming steps to learn? Because I am beginner. Yeah, actually, it is difficult to tell you that. But when you go into water, your mm-hmm. I think instructor will be there, and uh, she or he will teach you everything. Like means, uh, <coughs> actually, when you go into water. And then within two three days uh, you will start swimming. It's not difficult. Mm-hmm. It is not very difficult or difficult at all. Just you should have courage. They will teach you that you you have to hold something in the water first by hand, and you just stretch your body straight and just move your leg there. Start moving. Mm-hmm. Your uh, Like uh, you know, a fish uses fins mm-hmm. because actually, uh, you know, th- it's a law. Where you can swim if you are able to remove the water uh, of your weight uh, under you. Getting my point means you should be mm-hmm. able to remove <coughs> the water of your weight. Under your uh, body, then you are able to swim. Means 
by with the help of hands and uh, legs मतलब आप जब, जब पानी को अपने हाथों से अब पैरों से रिमूव करते जाते हो हाथों से करते हैं पैरों से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए यू गो फॉरवर्ड विद दी हेल्प ऑफ विद दी मूवमेंट ऑफ योर लेग्स बट व्हाट यू डू यू रिमूव वाटर मींस यू रिमूव वाटर विद योर हैंड्स रिमूव और यू कैन से यू मेक अ प्लेस फॉर यू टू गो फॉरवर्ड विद दी हेल्प ऑफ हैंड्स So that's the way, but it is very nice and it is very good exercise. Yeah, swimming is best. Yeah. Swimming is good for uh, everyone. Hmm. Even the people who have you know back problem, knee problem, it is good hmm. for them too. Yeah, this summer I will learn. Yeah, you should go. You should take. It is good to maintain your uh, weight also. It yeah. Is, it is good exercise. Yes. And one, one more way to reduce weight, uh, you may use or people use actually here in India. They take uh, a glass of water and uh, and with lemon. Yeah. Lemon water. Lemon. Uh, squeeze the lemon into water, and two spoonful of honey. Yes. With it. So it is also very good to reduce fat. Hmm. Hmm. I. So it, I take it every day in the morning after coming back. Okay. After walking. मिस्टर आजाद कुरेशी इज कॉलिंग हेलो हाँ मैं फ्री होके तो मैं बताता हूँ कॉल करता हूँ अच्छा तो ठीक है मिल लो तुम अभी मैं क्लास ले लू फिर तैयार होके फिर करता हूँ फोन ठीक है ठीक है but hmm. i was not very much interested in chess hmm. i actually i don't like indoor games hmm. i like you know outdoor games only where you have to do some physical work in indoor i like to listen music i don't watch television even i watch television just for news updation just to 
check what is going on, what is happening, what is new has happened. Just to check this, I watch news. Hmm. So it's okay. So what do you think means the higher education is a basic need for succeeding in life today? What is your opinion? All right. Higher education is a basic need for succeeding in life today. Higher education, no, in US, I don't think so. Higher education is really necessary because the way you are still in your higher education, you are working in McDonald's, Donald's for yeah, it doesn't like give you like uh, like you are gonna get some very good job. It doesn't give you stability, you know. Hmm. So means, uh, what do you think? Means it is not uh, the basic need. Yeah, for higher education, I don't know. You are talking about like becoming doctor, engineer. Higher education, like maybe maybe professional degree, MBA and all. MBA and the other degrees are just useless in US. Okay. Yeah. So if you are like uh, becoming doctor, that's a different story or becoming, you know, electrical engineer or some pharmacist, that's a different story. But if you like your graduation, yeah, or in, in, that's not true. That's not like true. So what is your education? My education is just a simple BA. Yeah. So you know, if you if you if you if you are good in computer science, you have like a computer background. That would be helpful in US because it has a very big IT market. In US, you know, people are just after IT. They are looking for you know, different people who are like developer, tester, anything you know, it has IT field. Anyone? So they have lots of opportunities to find job. And can make tons of money just like doctor engineers. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I know this all Indian come from India. Yeah. And they are they are doing this kind of job. Whether they have experience and they don't have but they have a little bit of experience and what they do. You know, they portrait like they have very high experience. They are this, they are that. And, and you know, so they have opened, you know, some staffing company because it is in demand. So they take they take them. So that's how I, I also come into this field. I don't have IT background, I don't have like computer science, any education, nothing at all. But I went to a staffing company. They gave me some training, mm -hmm. training, and now I have to perform well. Like I, I, I need to pretend like I know everything, and I have to learn on job. So it is something like that. Okay, so <laughs> you do you think that you should get some uh, more professional degrees or certificates? Or diplomas to have better jobs. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to go through any training. I think. Yeah, maybe after two, three years. After after two, three years, maybe I can think about to getting some certification if I have time. But right now I don't have time because you know once you start like right now I'm learning English, learning related to my job. So if I jump into another field, which I don't know, that will be too much. So once I'm, I improve my English, then I will think for my next 
Okay. You say endeavor, right? I will see. I mean, you know, you say good luck with your next endeavor. Hmm. So means uh, you are happy with your uh, life there in US. Yeah, I'm happy. I just have. I don't just have a like husband. You know that kind of family thing. Otherwise, I'm happy. I have like I don't have any problem. I have a car. I can eat whatever I like. I can buy. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's okay. Actually, you know what people think. Actually, um, in my opinion, actually, because earlier actually I didn't have that much sense to understand all these things when I was young that means actually like in India in Indian culture or I think Pakistani they also have the same culture that the people think that uh, means when the boys and girls they are just 18, 19, 20, 21 they should get a good job and they should get married, they should have family and they should be busy with their family. I mean, this is the culture that means people, yeah. the boys should, boys and girls, they should get married as early as possible and they should have their family and uh, that's all. And uh, that is the beginning and that is the ending of their life. They have to take the responsibility of the family, children and all. And they are always busy in that, you know, what we call, Hamare yaan to usko hode makad jal mein phas jate. So, they are always busy with that. But, uh, I have seen some of the people here. Like one of the orthopedic surgeon he is my friend and uh, he is enjoying his life very much really and sometimes we are jealous of him why, why? because he is alone and he is earning very good money and he is enjoying he just works for 15 days in a month and the remaining 15 days he goes out he goes out uh, to the different places in India, even he goes out of India. He is enjoying and he is taking photographs, updating on Facebook and all. And so, means he is enjoying each and every moment of his life. Because he, he has no responsibility. So, and the family responsibilities are the responsibilities which we create ourselves. So, and sometimes, you know, when unexpected incident happens in a family, that time it is also very bad because two, two and a half years back, we had that kind of unexpected incident in my family. Because what happened? Actually, my younger brother, he is also staying with me and uh, his wife expired. And huh? <coughs> just actually, she had fever and then we got medicine. We just consulted with the doctor and she, she, she was cured and after uh, 15 days again she got fever and we again went to doctor we means uh, took medicine she was cured again then we again after 15 days she had fever like this means it uh, continued for three or four months and ultimately the doctor couldn't understand what even I didn't know what happened and she expired within means within a few hours she was okay and uh, she was just 40 and, uh, and 
he has got two children, boy and uh, girl, daughter and son. So now my wife is taking care of them and my mother is there. My mother is old actually, she cannot walk properly. She has got some problem in her knees. So that time actually, you know, I had such kind of thinking. That means that if he had not got married, that time I thought two and a half years back that if he had not got married, he wouldn't have faced such kind of things. And now you see that the, everybody in the family is suffering. He is suffering more than every more than everyone, and the children are also suffering, and they have no mother. So these are the things actually, you know, yeah. happen, happen in life. Incident. So, yeah, so I thought that time, that why should we, why should one get married? What is the need? Why should we get married and to have, you know, responsibilities? And life is uncertain actually, you know. There is no certainty for anything. So, why should we have all these things and to be involved in problems? So, but the problem is, like, you know, staying alone doesn't make sense. Like, you know, after some time, you become like, a, you know, stay alone and. Yeah, it's okay. You, but you should find out some some other ways to be busy. Like means, of course, you are right that it is difficult to stay alone because you need someone to share something, mm -hmm. share your feelings or share some. Mean, at least you should have someone with you. Maybe your mother, maybe your father, or whoever he, he or she may be brother or sister or whoever but uh, but you should have at least a good friend instead of uh, brother and sisters because brother and sisters they are also busy in their own life yeah. so they don't have much time to talk to even their own family so how they can talk to you yes so but you can find out some other ways and even for that, I had a plan in my mind for such kind of people like my brother. Means uh, the people who are alone. Even in, you know, in China, there is a uh, club and uh, the people who are alone. Like means because their wives uh, expired or their husband expired. Or whatever may be the reason or they, they are separated. So they go to that club and they sit there and they have coffee and all. Means everything is available there. They sit on a table there and they wait for someone to come. And if somebody comes and he likes to or she likes to sit with him or her, they sit together, they talk to each other. They have coffee together and they talk, means they talk to each other, they share their feelings and it depends on them they, uh, that how much uh, means they want to involve with each other. So that depends actually. So what, what happens, I don't think it's bad actually for the people who are alone. Why they are alone, there may be several reasons. I don't want to go into the reasons, but at least they have a place where they can share their sorrows, mm -hmm. their happiness, and uh, so it is like that. So that's why actually I thought that time, you know, that I must do something for such people. At least in my city, I can do it. 
So I thought to make a group on Facebook or somewhere it means that invite people to come over there to talk to people who are alone. But that uh, group should would be for the people who are alone, not for the family members and yeah. Yeah.